How are you doing, math learners? This is your free access math teacher Ash, and welcome to ML with Sir Ash. For today's lesson, we're going to discuss how to determine the nth term, the arithmetic means, and the arithmetic series of an arithmetic sequence. So, before anything else, hit that subscribe button and notification bell for you to be updated of the school clear math videos just like this. Hello math learners, welcome to another session here in ML with Sir Ash. Today, we're going to discuss the most essential learning competency for quarter 1, week 1 to 2 for Mathematics 10, which is entitled, How to Determine the Nth Term, the Arithmetic Means, and the Arithmetic Series of an Arithmetic Sequence. Now, from the previous discussion of grade 10, we have already discussed the definition about arithmetic sequence now let's have a quick review what is an arithmetic sequence remember that an arithmetic sequence is a sequence of numbers in which it follows a certain difference among the terms meaning the first and the second term the second and the third the third and the fourth and so on and so forth they follow a common difference so that is what we call an arithmetic sequence now we have also discussed the formula for an arithmetic sequence. If you could still remember the formula for an arithmetic sequence, it is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Now, let us talk first about the parts of this formula. a sub n is actually the value of the term we are talking about. Um, Commonly, um, this is also the last term. Okay, The a sub 1 is known as the first term. Then n here is the position of that term being talked about. And finally, we have d, which is the common difference. Now, for you to understand this in a much more efficiency, let's consider an example. Let's say we have 5, 10, 15, so on and so forth, and that is our sequence. Now, can we determine that this is an arithmetic sequence? The first thing you should do is that you need to consider the difference between 5 and 10, and that is 5, right? Then consider the difference between 10 and 15, and that is also 5. Now, if you have um, a common difference among the terms in the given sequence then you can say that the given sequence is an arithmetic sequence easy right okay now let's get a deeper review on this matter we have here the arithmetic sequence right now can we name here the first term okay now our first term is this one okay now can we name the difference on this one okay the common difference here is this two here because they are both five okay Next is the n. Now, if we are talking about this value, n here is 3. Why 3? Because this is first, second, and third. This is, if we are talking about two terms only, then this will be 2. If we are talking about three terms only, then this will be 3. Okay? Now, how about this one? This is the actual value, so that is 15. Now, remember, this is the first term. This is the last term, which is a sub 3. And this is 3, which will be our n. And the common difference is 5. Now, I have talked that about on our last video for grade 10, on the introduction about arithmetic sequence. Okay, math learners, let's talk about the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. When we talk about nth term, that is basically two things. Okay, when we talk about nth term, of the given sequence, we are talking about the formula for that given sequence. Now, if we talk about a certain value or a certain position of a term, we can also consider the nth term. Okay, now, Sir Ash, what are you talking about? Okay, now, let us consider an example. Okay, math learners, we have here the sequence 3, 10, 17, 24, and so on and so forth. Okay, the question is, what is the nth term of this sequence? When we talk about nth term, you will always consider our formula for the arithmetic sequence. 
the a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. Okay. Now, remember, in getting the nth term or the formula for the given arithmetic sequence, you just need to consider the first term and the common difference. Okay? Again, you just need to consider the first term and the common difference. What is the first term here? Very good. That is 3. What is the common difference? Now, for the common difference, you need to subtract pairs of terms in the given sequence. Now, as you can see, 10 and 3, what is the common difference here? That is positive 7. Okay. How about 17 and 10? The difference is positive 7. 24 and 17, what is the difference? Positive 7. So, therefore, our difference is positive 7. Now, some of the students are asking me, Sir Ash, how do we know that our difference is positive or negative? Okay, now, this is a golden nugget, my dear math learners. When your sequence is increasing, meaning it gets bigger on the long run, it means that the common difference is positive. When the arithmetic sequence is getting smaller or decreasing, then the common difference is negative. Now, let's observe our given here. We have 3, 10, 17, and 24. It gets bigger. So therefore, our common difference is positive 7. Now, let's go back to the problem. What is the nth term of this given sequence? Okay. Now, by just having the first term and the difference, we will just plug it in in our formula. So we have a sub n is equal to 3 because that is our first term, plus n minus 1 times the difference, which is 7. Remember that we cannot add this one because this is a variable and this is constant, okay? So therefore, we will just need to distribute our 7 here outside, okay? Giving us 3 plus 7 times n, that is 7n, 1 times 7, that is 7, so, that's minus because negative 1 times positive 7 is negative 7. Then, we simplify this one. As we can see here, we have three terms. However, this has a variable while this one are constant terms. So, we can simplify this 3 minus 7 and that will give us 7n negative 4. And that will be your n term for this given arithmetic sequence. Okay? Easy, right? <laughs> Now, let us consider some other examples. Okay, math learners. Now, let us go to a certain question in which we can apply our nth term. Now, let's go deeper to this question. What if the given problem here is that we tend to get the value of the 18th term? Meaning, the, pos the 18th position of this given sequence. Technically, there are two ways. The first one is very simple. However, it is tedious, very long. Why? Because you can just continue adding 7, adding 7 until you get to the 18th position. This is the first, the second, the third, the fourth, and so on, and going to the 18th position. However, your paper or your pen or the ink of your pen will be utilized. Now, what is another technique? Okay. Now, we already have here our n term, right? Okay. Now, we, the n term here is the formula. We can utilize this one. You don't need to use this one because you already have this one. So, what you will do here is you just continue getting the value of the 18 term. Okay. So, you just change your n here to 18. Same goes to the variable in this one. So, 7 times 18. Okay. Minus 4. Okay, so a sub 18, so that is 7 times 18. So 7 times 8, that is 6, 5, 7 plus 5, and that will give you 12. So 126 minus 4, and the answer is 122. And that is your final answer for the given problem. So if you are asked, what is the n term of this sequence, this is the answer. If you are asked, what is the 18th term, 18th term, of this problem, then this is the answer. So, you just need to consider what is asked in the problem for you to answer and to give your proper solution on that certain problem. Okay? Now, let's go to another example. Okay, math learners, we have our second 
arithmetic sequence given 17, 14, 11, 8, and 5, and so on and so forth. Question is, what is the end term of this given arithmetic sequence? First, you need to consider the first term. What is the first term? Then that is 17. Then you need to consider the difference. What is the difference? Now, as you can observe in this given sequence, this is decreasing. It goes down, right? Okay. Now, what is the difference between 17 and 14? That is 3. What's the difference between 14 and 11? That's 3. 11 and 8, that's 3. However, since this is going down, therefore, our difference is negative 3. Okay? Now, we can solve our n term easily. So we have a sub n. Our first term is 17 plus n minus 1 times our difference. Okay. By doing so, we have a sub n. So this is 17. Then since we cannot subtract this one, we will just distribute our negative 3 to our quantity, giving us negative 3n plus 3. All right. And then... Sorry. And then let's just simplify this one. So we have 17 minus 3n plus 3. So we can simplify the constant terms. We have a sub n is equal to negative 3n, 17 plus 3, that is positive 20. Or some other people would write this as 20 minus 3n. They are just the same. Okay? As long as in arranging your terms, be sure that you have um, followed the, the sign of each term. Okay, Since our sign for the 3n here is negative, then if you write it on the second part, it is still negative 3n. Okay, So that is the answer for our n term in this given sequence. Now, let's talk about position. What if the 51st term are being asked? What is a sub 51 or we can just write this as n is equal to 51 okay so how do we solve the 51 the 51 term or 51 position of this given sequence okay now let's just use this one right okay so you can use this equation you can also use this equation either of the two so let's just use the second one okay so we have a sub 51, okay, 20 minus 3 times 51. We have A sub 51, okay, 20 minus 3 times 51, that will give us 153. Because 3 times 51 is 153. Then A sub 51, so 20 minus 153 will give us negative 133. And that will be our final answer for the position of the 51st term. Okay? Easy, right? I hope you have the idea now on how to get the value of your n term and the actual value of a term in which a certain position or certain term is being asked. Remember that you just need to consider the first term and the difference for you to acquire your n term. Okay, so now, this is the time that I will challenge you whether you have understood our lesson completely. So, here it is. Okay, math learners, I hope you have learned our lesson efficiently and effectively. And remember, if you do have some question, do not forget to write or to comment in our comment section below because I will surely help you in your endeavors. This is still your free access math teacher, Ash. And always remember, it is fun to learn mathematics if we are together learning. Thank you, keep safe, and God bless. Fellow math learners, if you think you like this video, hit the like button and the subscribe button. That is if you are committed of learning mathematics the easy way. Thank you.